warm-ups and then a breath warm-up, and then we'll mostly be seated doing some warm-ups or breathing. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, hips open, so ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, sitting bones toward the floor. Spread your toes out, make sure your knees go toward your second toes, and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment just to breathe deep, that three-part yoga breath. Inhale it to the lowest part of your lungs. You can put your fingertips there, let your belly move out as you breathe. And then move your fingertips up to your lower ribs. Keep breathing in. And then to your collarbones, keep breathing in. And then as you exhale, collarbones sink, ribs sink, belly sinks as you breathe out. So just do that a couple of times part yoga breath. Just allowing that centering and inward focus. Arms just relaxed at your sides, crown reaching up, spine opening as you breathe. Just feel that full, long expansion as you exhale, just release any stress and tension. Then you can keep your eyes closed or open them. We'll do our warm up. Inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back. Inhale, arms to the front, but keep your shoulders down. And exhale, hands to the back, just clasping your fingers. Inhale, lifting your heart and stretch back in a little back bend. And then exhale, pivot at your hips. Bring your arms up and head down. And just relax for a few breaths there. See if you can do that three-part breathing while you're here. Inhaling to the belly, the ribs, and the collarbones. And exhaling. And then when you're ready for an inhalation, just bend your knees slightly and bring your body slowly back up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top as you lift your heart. Shoulders coming down, chest opening with that full breath in. Just take a couple breaths there, doing that three-part breathing again. And then on your next inhalation, come back upright and release. Take a moment feeling that body beginning to warm. And again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale out to the front. Exhale, clasp your hands behind you the opposite way of your finger outside. Again, lifting your heart, doing that yoga breath. Breathing in three parts. And out three parts. And then as you inhale back upright, exhale over and into your forward position. And again, a few breaths there, doing that three-part breathing, filling your lungs completely with your chin up and if you'd like a little neck release while you're doing that. And as you exhale, just deepen. And then bend your knees slightly, sitting bones toward the floor as you lift your ribs and wind all the way up on the breath in, filling again into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, chest high, and head back. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and back into mountain pose. And again, take a moment to do the breathing, inhaling fully and completely through all parts of your lungs. Exhaling and releasing. And a little side stretch. Bring one arm out, palm to the ceiling, arm above your shoulder. Push the arms away and lean to the side. Just stretch out through your head and your fingertips. Slide that other hand down toward your knee. Remember, make sure you're not leaning the shoulder forward. 
Feel the ribs on the side expand even more. Breathe into them. Exhale, releasing. And then inhale back to the center. Exhale the arm down. Inhale the other arm up to shoulder level, palm up and over your shoulders. Stretch the arms away and exhale over to the side. And again, as you're there, breathe into those ribs on the side that's stretching, maximizing that opening through those intercostal muscles. Inhale back to the top. Keep your shoulders down and release back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling all that circulation through the sides, through the spine. And of course, we'll stretch the spine apart and do our twist warm up as well. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. And again, breathing in, all the way up through the spine, and exhale, turn to the inside. Breath in. Exhale, open. And just coming into your forward pivot, just relax. See if the weight's on both feet. Keep doing that three-part breathing. Exhale, tension as you empty the lungs completely. And then breathing in, keep the twist, keep the weight on both feet, and lift your heart into the upper body by pivot as you get to the top. Elbows back, shoulders down, stretch your head away. And again, a free three part breath here, going through the whole volume of your lungs. And exhale, coming upright and around to the center. Switch your arms around so we balance the body and again, stretch the spine apart, lengthening in the breath in. And exhale, bring to the other side. Another breath. Exhale, over. And just take a moment there, spread your toes, relax, do another three part breath. Filling completely, and exhale, totally. And then on your next next inhalation, come on back all the way up in the twist into that upper body back bend again, filling your lungs, lifting the elbows back, head stretching away. Remember, don't tip your chin too far to the ceiling, you want to be that stretch into it. And then inhale to the top, exhale to the center, arms up and extending mountain. Shoulders down, shoulder legs towards your waist, one more breath. Inhaling, abdomen, ribs, and collarbone. Exhaling, and pivot forward, arms coming to shoulder level, pivoting at your hips, stretch it out straight, and completely exhaling to land dog. Just hang a moment there, breathing totally normally. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten in that halfway up stretch. Exhale and release, arms back down, and just hands together, inhaling, all the way up into one more back bend as you lift your hands, thumbs back, looking at them, and exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling all that circulation, maybe a little bit more from all the breath work as well. Then we're going to do another breath that's a little bit calming. So bring your hands into a clasp position, fingertips under your chin, elbows in towards your heart. And then as you inhale, we're going to lift the face toward the ceiling and the elbows up as you breathe fully in. Filling your lungs. And then as you exhale, breathe out through your mouth as you bring the face back to the front and the elbows down and in, crunching into your heart. And then inhale, lifting those angel wings up toward the ceiling, lifting your face, breathing in fully, and slowly exhaling, bringing everything down and in, face to the front. This one's called angel breath. So just angel wings up, opening the heart, 
opening the lungs as you breathe in and exhaling down and forward. One more time, inhaling elbows and face up, breathing in, expanding those lungs completely and exhaling back down, emptying the lungs. And release your arms back to your sides. Take a moment just feeling that calming sensation through your whole body. Next, we're going to do a breath that energizes. It's called breath of joy. This one's also a three-part inhalation, essentially those same three parts of the lungs filling, but we're gonna move it with our arms coming with that motion. Inhale, bring your arms up to the front, out to the side, really expanding your lungs all the way to the ceiling, looking overhead, and exhale down with that emphatic release. Coming back up, inhaling, Arms to push shoulder level, out to the sides, expanding your chest, inhaling arms overhead, looking up, exhale, bending the knees, and completely releasing the breath. Inhale to the front, out to the side, all the way up, exhale all the way down. This one feels a lot of energy. You can go as fast as you like on this one. So we'll accelerate the pace. So inhale to the front, to the sides, and all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale, 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 out. Inhale, 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 out. Front, side, up, out. Front, sides, up, out. Up, out, up, out. Up, face, out. And keep breathing as you allow your body to go through that one more time and come back to standing and just feel that energized breath. Take a moment, feel the warmth, feel all the sensations through your lungs, through your body, through your breath. And then bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment, just breathing there, calming. And bring your hands toward the ceiling. Fill your lungs completely as you lift your heart, hands to the back. Exhale, pivot on over, all the way down, emptying your lungs completely. Hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. The breath in, pulling completely through that three-part breath. Exhale completely emptying as you come all the way back into that forward position. One more time, hands together. Inhale that three part breath all the way up toward the ceiling. Hands back into that upper body back. Then as you feel your capacity, exhale coming all the way over. One more time into ragdoll. And bend your knees coming all the way down into child's pose. Just sink your hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a deep breath and just exhale. Let your whole body sink. And just take a few breaths there, letting everything release and relax. If you like that three part breathing, you can even do it in a child's pose. And then coming up to a seated position, just come into a cross leg position and we'll do a few more experimental breaths. So take a moment there, remembering of course that we're creatures of habit, switch your legs around so that we're in that alternate position with the other leg in front or on top. Move those sitting bones slightly behind you, get those ribs in and up, letting that whole front of your body expand as well as your spine. Crown toward the ceiling, shoulders relaxing, keep those shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a moment and just breathe, just normally, see how that's working for you. So we're gonna try the Ujjayi breath. So this is a kind of Darth Vader breath. It's toward the back of the throat. It sounds like an ocean waves coming in and out. And a lot of people have a challenge figuring this one out. 
So they say that if you imagine that your breath is going out through your lips as if you're blowing out a candle, that gets the exhalation part going. So just take a moment, keeping your body nice and straight, breathe in normally, and then just See if you can bring that exhalation toward the back of your throat as you start that breath out and make that sound. And then the tricky part is we're also going to do that on the inhalation. So again, you can keep your lips separated slightly. Breathing in. Getting that ocean breath going out. And you want to be able to hear this breath. So the more you can hear it, the more it helps you focus as you're doing things like warrior poses. And allow yourself just to breathe in and breathe out with that ujjayi sound. Ocean breath. You can close your eyes and practice that a couple of times. And then we're going to try it with the nose instead of the mouth. So go ahead. Breathe in, or at the back of your throat, breathe out. And again, you want to hear that sound. Both going in and going out. Relax your arms and hands. You can have them palms up in your lap if that helps. And on your next exhalation, just return to your normal breath. And switch your legs. Getting comfortable for a different breathing process. So as you come into your seated position again, just get comfortable sitting on slightly behind you. We're going to focus on the ribs this time. This one's called Breath of Fire. And again, it's one of the yoga breathing practices that builds energy and heat in the midsection. So you can bring your fingertips to your midsection right there at the solar plexus around the rib area. And what you want to feel is like you're just doing an exhalation. It's an emphatic exhalation. You can start by practicing it singly. So just take a breath in. And if you have a hard time doing it through your nose, you can try it through your mouth first. You want to really feel those fingertips move as you do that kind of sinking in. So you're really exhaling everything that's in the lung area. So breathing in just gently and... Now, what we're going to do to actually accomplish the breath of fire is going to feel like you're only breathing out, but the in-breath automatically comes. So don't worry, it will happen. So we're just going to exhale, 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 but the inhale breath just automatically does it itself. So go ahead, either through your mouth or through your nose, whichever is easiest for you. And then breathe normally again. So 10 times we're going to go out, and then we're going to breathe normally again. So once more. And then breathe normally. So you want to really feel those emphasized exhalations going out, and then just the automatic inhalations. You won't even hear them. One more time. Okay. 
You want to really feel that belly area working. Now we're going to do it one more time. If you've been doing it through your mouth, try it through your nose this time. Breath in and go. And breathe normally. And again, just take a moment, feeling that energy a little bit more built up through your body. Take a moment to notice the heat and what else is going on. Maybe your meditative center is starting to get a little bit more activated as well from all the breath. Exhale and tension. And then one more time, let's switch our legs. Or you can go out into scat position if you need a little stretch through your legs. So coming with those sitting bones behind you into whatever leg position you're feeling, core active, supporting your spine as you lengthen up through your spine. I'm going to do alternate nostril breathing. This one's a calming one. So it's going to take a little bit out of that breath of fire that we were just doing. So bring your right hand in front of your nose, palm toward your nose, thumb to the outside, finger to the other side. And then we're going to press the nostril on the right with the right thumb. Exhale at the left nostril and then inhale. And then release the thumb and use your pinky finger to close the left nostril. Exhale through the right and then inhale. And alternating thumb, exhaling and inhaling. Little finger. Exhaling and inhaling. As long and slow as these breaths want to be, just calming yourself. Exhaling. Inhaling. Locking. Exhaling. Inhaling. And again. Just alternating, go at your own pace as fast or slow as you'd like. The slower you go, the more calming it is. If you get confused, just start over, exhaling on one side, inhaling on that side, closing that nostril, exhaling, inhaling. Closing and alternating, just back and forth, calming, relaxing. Breathing. Some people find it helps to keep the middle and index finger on the point between your, at the top of your nose, between your brows. That helps to bring that meditator focus into your awareness a little bit more. Doesn't work so well with my glasses on. You can try that, see if it helps you. Just let that breathing calm you, bringing your awareness inward, relaxing. And the next time you breathe out on the left side, just bring your hands down to your lap and breathe normally. Focusing inward. Exhaling tension. And then one more time, switch your legs around. Sitting bones behind you, arms relaxed at your sides. And we're going to do a twist. So bring your arms out to shoulder level, palms up, 
arms over your shoulders and just stretch up through your fingertips but pulling the shoulders down. Breathe in that three-part breath. Go all the way up to the collarbones. And as you exhale, turn all the way to the side, bringing one hand to the outside of the knee, the other hand behind you. Completely exhaling all the way down to that belly. Breathe in, three-part breath all the way up. Stretch those bones of your spine apart. Exhale. Empty and deepen the twist. Breathing in. Breathing out, just relaxing into your twist. This time as you breathe in, bring the arms back up, turning back to the center. Exhale, arms down to your sides. And once more, switch your legs around and we'll do our twist to that opposite side, hands next to you. Arms out, arms up, arms over your head, deep heart breath in. Exhale, three-part breath out as you turn to the side, hand to the knee, the other hand behind you, close to you on the floor. Breathing in the three-part breath. Exhaling and deepening into your twist, always emptying the lungs completely. One more full breath in, three parts. Exhale, just relaxing. And then on your next breath in, bringing your arms up, turning back to the center, exhaling, arms back down to your sides. Take a moment feeling that breath, feeling that meditative connection activating even further. Lift your knees, bring your feet to the end of the mat, into staff position, core activated. Exhale everything out as you come all the way slowly to corpse position. So hands, palms up at your sides, shoulders, shoulder blades down. Take a moment, just getting everything lined up, toes slightly toward each other, and then just relax your whole body. Take a moment, breathing that full breath in, and exhaling it completely. Another full three-part breath in, as you exhale, burst your lips and breathe out through your mouth and that straw breath as you completely empty your lungs. And just a few more breaths with that three-part inhalation and that three-part exhalation through your lips. Lengthening your breath as you go in. All three parts of your lungs filling. Exhale and straw breath out. Just feel your body softening and releasing. Every part just relaxing down into that surface beneath you. Breathing normally, or whichever breath you prefer. Just allow your breath full and deep. All the exhalations letting your body grow even heavier, sinking into the earth's surface. Relaxing completely. Breathing in, breathing in. Just allowing that awareness to release your body. Focusing into the middle of your skull with that meditative connection, letting the content of your thoughts go. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, you can release your body releasing thoughts of your breath, releasing thoughts of anything else, just let your mind drift in and out like the breath. Relax completely and let your awareness release your body and your mind. Keep that focus inward on the peace within, letting it fill your body, fill your mind, fill your breath. Being
that, that breathing has really relaxed you today. Just take a moment longer to breathe and relax as much as you have opportunity for. It's time to return. Get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with that breath. And drawing energy and awareness to the moment, to the room, to your body. Breathing more fully. Moving your body gently, however feels good for you. And as you breathe more fully and deeply, just move your body more completely as well, giving yourself a good stretch when you're ready. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels up towards your hips, and knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative hug. Exhaling any stress left in your body. Let your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and the work it does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. And practice whichever breaths felt good for you. Thanks for joining me.